September 22nd. Today would have been my dad's 76th birthday. So 76 memories. We began last year with 75 memories. Came over this year, 76 memories for 76 years since my dad was born. And we're starting with number 38. Uh, so I'll try to be brief with these. When we went on a road trip, I remember, to uh, the hills of Tennessee, uh, Dad had got the Beach Boys album Made in the USA, which had the song Heroes and Villains on it. And he taught my sister, my mom, myself, and he to do four of the five-part harmonies involved in the song Heroes and Villains and uh, really helped me to appreciate the intricacies of the music and how much was going on with what seemed like a simple pop song at first. And I just loved his enthusiasm for that. Uh, another fun story about my dad was he had invested in this company. I don't know if I can be wise to legally name it right now, but he noticed what he thought were some shenanigans going on with the company. So he actually took a job there to kind of unearth what was going on and he found out this was kind of a proto like Worldcom fiasco before all those fiascos in the uh, early 2000s. But he was kind of like a undercover detective and I just loved his, uh, uh, just that he did that. Um, my dad uh, was obsessed with French fries and insisted that no one could make better French fries than him. And he wouldn't say this as a matter of pride. He would just say, oh no, yeah, I, no one makes better fries than me. It was just, uh, it was just a fact. Um, he loved hamburgers and he had actually kept a list, a running list of what he thought the best burgers in the world were. And uh, one of his favorite signature dishes was to make Texas sheet cake. In fact, that's still one of my favorite cakes now. And once again, he said, you know, other people can make this, but no one can touch me. And I guess we come from many, many generations of bakers in the Cannell family. So at least he has some honest, honest call to that. Also on the food thing, he was, uh, became obsessed with this product called Grandma's, uh, Grandma's Coffee Cake. And uh, he would send it out to everyone around Christmas time to give them, you know, instead of a fruit bake, basket, give them a coffee cake. But he wasn't satisfied that the directions that came with the coffee cake gave you uh, clear enough instructions on how to awesomely prepare it. So he had written his own instructions to make sure people didn't do anything to mess up the cake. That was his attention to detail. Another food he was obsessed with was Murdoch's, Murdoch or Murdoch's fudge from uh, Mackinac City, Michigan, Mackinac Island. He would send that every holiday as well because it was, in his mind, the best fudge. He uh, used to uh, always try to find Tasty Cake Butterscotch Crimpets, which, you know, you can find a lot of Tasty Cake products, but for some reason, the Butterscotch Crimpets are always very hard to find. And uh, it was a real treat when he'd find those, he'd bring those home with us. And uh, yes, let's see if there's anything else. Oh, just one of my... Uh, favorite things was when he was in town, he would just call me and goes, hey, what are you doing? I said, uh, nothing. He goes, wanna go to Waffle House? And he just always wanna go to Waffle House, wanna go to White Castle, wanna go to Ritzy's. And it's just, it, life was, everything in life was just events that happened between meals uh, for him. So uh, I think that takes me up to 47 uh, memories of dad. So I will be back with some more.